Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nicola and I blog over at The Frugal Cottage, all about budgeting and saving money. Um, and if you're not new, then welcome back, it's nice to see you again. Um, I'm really excited to show you this today, um, but mainly because I'm really excited to use them. I think it might be much easier than what I've been trying to do so far. So this here, might not look like much, but it's my new cash envelope system that I'm hoping will help. Um, now, if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I use the cash envelope method for my fairly well expenses. And I currently have six categories for those. Um, and I have been using, because I designed them, I have been using um, just paper envelopes that you can print out and, um, and kind of write your different categories on them. So these are the, these are the ones I've been using so far. I zoom in there. See if it, there we go. So um, things like so that's, that's clothes there, petrol, children, eating out, food. Oh, I wonder where my miscellaneous one's gone. Anyway, so they're the ones I have been using, and they're available to download on my site if you want to. And I might, and I've loved using them in the sense that I like the different categories. I like having a different envelope for each category. Um, and they fit really easily in my purse to take with me. Um, but the only problem I found, and I don't know if this is because I'm, I'm in the UK, um, is the amount of coins I was getting and trying to keep in an envelope like that. So I've watched American people do kind of cash envelope stuff in, like putting in their budget for the week, and you guys over there have one dollar notes. Now here, the smallest kind of note value denomination you can get is a five pound note. So everything underneath a five pound note, two pound, one pound, they're all coins. So I was finding that I was getting a lot of coins, a lot of one pound coins, some two pound coins, but not very often, and, and kind of, and lower obviously, 50p, 20p, 10p, and so on. And I was finding that I was using cash and loving the system, and I really think that it really helps me to stick to a budget because there's nothing more, um, kind of ev obvious, evident, powerful, whatever the word is that I'm looking for, um, to, to handing over money, uh, like uh, kind of three or four notes to pay for something um, versus just swiping a card. Because to me, um, uh, it doesn't really feel as real, especially kind of if you're shopping online. Now obviously I buy things online and use a card for that. Um, but it's just so easy just to say, yeah, fine, done. And it's the same when you have contactless. So I have a contactless, as does most people, I suppose, card. And you just kind of tap it on the thing and it's gone. You don't even have to enter a PIN number anymore to do that under £30. Um, and I think for me, I think um, because it doesn't feel real, um, in the sense that it doesn't feel like you're spending money, even though you are, I think that the cash envelope system of actually physically handing over money works much better for me um, and you know there are, there are positives and negatives to the system um, and you need to find out what works for you but this works for me and this is just a tweak on the system I've been working on and using and um, I'm really excited to show you these guys so this is an A6 I think it's A6 yeah um, little organizer I ordered off Amazon um, and inside I will show you <laughs> my new cash envelopes I'm hoping that that will stay open. Let me just do that. There we go. Um, so if I, I'll just open that and then put it back. So you know I have six cash envelope um, categories for my very little sensor. So there's food, petrol, miscellaneous, uh, children, eating out and clothes. They're the six that I use. They're the six that kind of, um, I did have more and then I was finding that it was getting more and more difficult to kind of track. Um, and it was all just getting a bit more complicated, so I kind of condensed, mainly put things into the miscellaneous ones. So I used to have a pets one um, for the cats. We have two cats in our house, um, but they did—they don't really cost us that much. And I was finding you know, it was just a bit faffy. So theirs now comes under the miscellaneous one. So anyway, so these are my new cash envelopes. So I'll just get them out of there if I can. So that's just an A6 uh, little planner, I suppose. Um, I'll, I'll leave the link below to what that is. It's a purple colour. That's not showing up that well. It's like a lilac -y purple colour. <laughs> I'm obviously not um, one for describing colours very often. I think it's lilac. 
don't know, anyway. Um, so I now have these cash envelopes. But what they are, I should have left one empty. Where are the ones? Do I have one? Doesn't matter. So what they are basically now is it's still in a cash envelope, you can see. Ooh, if I can do that. Um, but it is now a plasticky one. And it has what's my camera doing? <laughs> there we go. And it has um a little kind of opening and there. And the thing for me is that then, you know, once I close that again, my coin should stay in the correct envelope. Which, let me tell you, has not been happening so far. Um, so, and I've designed these little um, kind of inserts labels uh, to go in with mine. So I've got food, petrol, that's for the car. Um, obviously interchangeable travel. I don't generally use any other form of transport. Um, so petrol is for mine. My car isn't that colour, but it doesn't matter. Petrol, miscellaneous, so things, household, cats, anything else. Um, not entirely sure why I chose a plant, seeing as I don't really have that many plants. Um, I thought that was kind of cute though. So miscellaneous, children, I have two children, two young children. I um, uh, don't know, well, I quite like the balloons, there you go. Um, eating out, eating out there fries in that one and then clothes clothes is the one I will use the least I'm sure um, so I just kind of designed these online to put inside there just so I know which envelope is which um, but yeah so I have six cash envelopes in a new little system I'm so excited to use um, <laughs> that might seem really sad to some of you but do you know what I don't even get um, that's just me and they'll all just start in here and now the, the other thing is that these little envelopes if I wanted to take them out um, of the binder say I didn't need to take all of them which is probably quite true I don't generally take all of them with me um, but these little A6 oh I'll do that later <laughs> these whoa they, there we go they, these little A6 things will fit in my purse or wallet if you're American these will kind of slot in there so say I was going food shopping I would take my food envelope and my miscellaneous envelope because there's the two they would be the two that I would use so I will link the the little planner filofaxy thing. It's not a filofax. It's not that expensive, and the envelopes below. And I will let you know how I'm getting on with this. But I'm so excited, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.